It produces high quality topography, up to 10 times faster than some conventional photocomposing machines, and at far lower cost than other cathode ray tube systems. The 505 consists of a controlled unit and a reproducer unit. The controlled unit is the brains of the 505. It contains integrated logic circuitry and central core storage of character widths. The normal input to the controlled unit is eight-level perforated tape. The 505 may accept six-level wire service or computer-generated tape through a universal tape adapter. Seven or nine-channel magnetic tape may be used with a magnetic tape interface. Computers processing typographic data are addressed with unjustified tape produced on a suitable perforator or mag tape keyboard. Computer instructions are keyboarded along with the text. The computer, programmed to provide justification and formatting, converts this tape into a new tape containing the text and the necessary function codes to operate the 505. Character width data is stored in the control unit. Up to 16 of these special eight-level keyboards may use this data simultaneously. In some systems, a single keyboard is used for fast correction purposes. The input tape is loaded onto the reader of the control unit. Lights on the control panel indicate, set width, point size, and film advance as the tape codes are read. Tape instructions can be overridden manually by means of push buttons. The operator can proof a job in a smaller size to save film, or in a larger size for ease of proof reading. Maximum line length is 64 pikas. The standard type size range of the 505 is 4 to 28 points, with additional ranges up to 72 points available as options. The system can be instructed to stop at any numbered line, and the line being typeset is indicated on a digital display. The operator may select right or wrong reading output at high or low definition. The reproducer unit, the business end of the 505, contains four character grids, optics and cathode ray tube systems that project images onto photographic paper or film. The character selection system consists of an index cathode ray tube, a 16 element lens arrangement, a character grid, and 16 photo multipliers. In response to tape codes, the index cathode ray tube projects a scanning raster in one of 16 positions. Each of 16 lenses transmits the projected raster through 16 characters on the grid. One of the 16 photo multipliers is energized by a tape code and in turn selects one character for transmission to the printout cathode ray tube system. Here, the character is passed one scan line at a time to a 9.5 to 1 reduction lens reflected by a 45 degree mirror through a converging lens 
onto the output paper or film in precise size and position. The 505 operates at the rate of 170 11 pica newspaper lines per minute, regardless of point size or number of characters in a line. When setting multi-column work, the output material backs up when each column is completed and the setting of the next column begins as simulated here. The typographic heart of the Linotron 505 is its optically precise grid system. Each of four grids has 238 characters for a total capacity of 952. Grid changes are easily made in less than a minute. A useful option is the Pi character facility, consisting of four Pi slides, each containing 16 characters to provide 64 additional masters in a full-size range. A mathematics option enables the 505 to set all first and second order inferiors and superiors from any character on any grid. The standard 505 permits unusual applications, including typeset music. The output material, which can be non-sprocket film or paper from 2 to 11 inches wide in 100-foot rolls, is contained in easy-to-handle, light-tight cassettes. Output exposure may be set quickly and accurately to the desired value. Characters may be visually displayed on an auxiliary monitor tube as they are generated on the printout CRT. Exposed material of any length may be quickly and easily removed for processing in this delivery cassette. In open room lighting, This multi-column page took less than one minute to compose. 